Hi guys, welcome to a new FGMI 21 video and today we are picking up yet another car and that will come as no surprise to you because we buy cars all the time. Today we are buying a 1992 Fiat Panda 750L and I know it's no surprise being a Fiat or being a Panda as is what we're very much accustomed to here as you can see with all the Fiat's in the background. We've got the Tifo today but we've loaded up with all the things we need to go two and a half hours up Try and get a panda going and then drive it two and a half hours back. So, you join us two and a half hours up. Drove up here in the Tipo with plenty of things on board. We can now just change the wheels on this 750 panda. Do a little pan out. You can see we've got some amazing steels on there now. And now we are putting back together many, many things that will hopefully make it run and then hopefully we can bleed some water in. And set some idles and hopefully drive it back two and a half hours. So I'm just going to put the, uh, put the wires back onto the starter for a start. And then put some other stuff back together. Put some, got some fuel lines on now, put, some, put an intake on. We've just put these on, the choke cable and the throttle cable. We've also got to put the speedo cable in, although we could leave it if we wanted to for now. Um, got to put the coil back together. We've got a couple of wires down here, which I haven't even looked at yet. And also we have no clutch yet. But we'll sort that. Sure we did the uh, everything for the throttle we've got the speedo cable back in now we've got the coil back on and we did actually run it up a moment ago and it actually started straight away which is amazing let's see if it still runs now uh, now that we've just adjusted a couple of things i'm sure this will make it 160 miles home i'm sure so it wouldn't be very good pickup if we didn't have a breakdown would it so it's made it from nottingham to here which is stretched and services on the m5 which is a fair way how long how long would you recommend is that an hour and a uh, 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 something like that an hour and a half has made it here um absolutely fine temperature's been good um that's what uh, the engine was being swapped for before and why we had to put everything back together blood the cooling background it's been absolutely fine it's ran up absolutely fine up until this point we come off at the uh services and it's just died basically and so I tried starting it again uh, after Georgina got out because she's been uh, happily driving it for me until just now uh, because I've been driving the Tipo which is full of stuff and I've just had to get everything out to try and get a, to get a 10 mile spanner out to get this off and I've just adjusted up the idle speed a little bit so we're gonna see if it will run now I mean there's gonna be a few more things we're gonna have to bet all on this at home but hopefully it's good enough. into the services but there's one thing that does need to be done and that is this I was hoping this would be one one full swoop but it is actually quite strong stuff that is what we need rid of so Rosie, the Panda 750, has now made it home and I've actually made a start on doing a few things as well. At the moment, just like the other cars, it has now become a temporary shed for some of the uh, items that we've got. We've got a spare engine and gearbox for Lewis in there. We've got a uh, spare parade interior. The interior on this car is actually quite nice uh, itself. Um, coming over to here, we can see 
I've started dismantling, um, ready to check the choke and the throttle um, uh, again, get it running properly. Obviously, I hadn't set it up uh, perfectly well as we were in such a, a rush to leave yesterday. It was still a late return. Um, I am going to be removing the exhaust, so I've just put, um, put some WD-40 on these studs so I can get them off soon. Uh, I've taken the lower um, hose connection off of there on the front of the engine. Uh, and drained the water out that I put in so that we can put in some new coolant soon. But it was actually dripping from here overnight. So what I'm going to do is use a new Jubilee clip and I'm going to just clean up this area when the uh, hose goes back on and I'll mo closely monitor it after the new coolant's been bled through just to make sure that we haven't got any more leaks. Obviously this car um, was going to have an engine change because of overheating issues but even with a new engine and gearbox in it was still going to leak if this hose or the hose clip was the problem. So um, I think that may have been the cause of the coolant loss in the first place. Uh, if it was, that would be why it had run out of coolant and therefore overheated. So hopefully that's the issue that we had there. Um, I've cleaned up underneath the gearbox and stuff and the uh, engine just to see what we've got. And we don't need to replace the sump or anything or the gear gaiters, which is always good. Um, cleaned up all the oil and everything, so we'll see how that goes. Obviously I've got a few things to tidy up under here. I've got to tidy up this. Um, the coil wire as I just bodged it on there for getting it home. Uh, caper tied the horn over there which obviously I will have to do something better with that. Um, I've started taking off a few things on the front um, as I'm going to be putting a few things back to standard so to speak. We've got the uh, headlight tents removed as you saw earlier in the video. We've got the grill off um, which is over here as we will be painting that um, or at least just removing the paint and I'll be doing the badges up as a standard colour or a different colour anyway. I've also got the plate down there as well which um, is actually quite bent so I've been trying to straighten it out. We'll see if it straightens up anymore. Um, tempted to buy a new plate for it we shall see. But yeah that's um, the project so far. Um, we made it home with no other issues yesterday after we set the idle up a little bit. I mean it wasn't running perfectly but um, it got us here and I'll be fettling it to make sure it's uh, running even better soon. So stay tuned for more videos on the project and I'll get them uploaded soon.